Haha, -ha, gotcha. Okay, so we're going to take these little set screws, take the little bit that we have there, make sure that that's down, and screw in the base one. That's locked in place. Now, we're going to take the top one. Since we've already got locked in at the base, we don't have to stress out as much. And that did not feel right. Let's see. Is there another bit that it could be? No. Is that it? Hmm, the little bit I was using suddenly loosened on that last one. Feels like it might it locked. Oh, you know what? What am I thinking? This has got a, a deeper lip to it. This one's a shallower lip, so that's the reason why I just stripped a little sucker out for no reason at all because I wasn't paying attention. It doesn't have to go in as far. So even though it it's not in all the way, it's it's already up against it. Okay. So now on this one, I want to put pressure on it. Make sure it's down. Feels like I actually stripped out the the bit. They aren't a, uh, a very tough bit. Yeah, see, I just slipped right there, but it's up against it. That's the main thing. Okay, so we have those rods in place. They are locked in. Now what's left? See, when I turn that, these aren't turning. That's the next thing we're going to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn this around. And we're going to take, let's just get it with the Allen wrench. We're going to take the small one that bites into the screw itself and we're going to lock it in first. Same way on this one. Now the reason why I'm, you see me turn it like that, as you can see when I do like this, it's actually pulling out of the socket. So when I go like this and you start seeing this arm raise, that's why I know that it's contacted the inside of this, the shaft from the motor. I know it's making contact in there. So now we lock this in. Good enough like that. Now we're going to rotate these back and we got to tighten these other ones. These are the ones that will squeeze it onto the rod. Get up to there. Good enough. Good enough. Now, you notice when I remove it, those are moving. You want to grab hold of it and make sure that that is that that's tight because if there's any slip down there you are not going to get your the correct level now what i want to do is i want to make sure the scantry is level as at least as level as it can be so what i'm doing is just eyeballing where that seam there on the, where this cutout is i'm guessing it's fairly close i don't know for sure i'll wait until everything's put together and i get the the extruder on it and we get down to where we're testing on the test the bed once i get to that point then i'll be able to calibrate you know everything i'll make sure the stepper motors are turned off and make sure everything is completely even using these from left to right but anyway we're to that point now i believe we're to the point we're going to put the belt on it i might be wrong yep it looks like it's going to be the belt <clears throat> So we're going to need number 37. Oh, you know what? Let's, before we go any further, let's finish up what we were doing, huh? Let's go ahead and get these suckers put on. So now we have this locked in. We have these locked in. So we have these pretty much upright. 
Now what we want to do is take these rods, maybe spin them a little bit, whatever we need to do to, to loosen them up, get them to where they're fairly close to even on the ends. Like right now, this one's sticking out this side more than it is that side. So I'm just going to spin it around a little bit and I'm just kind of move it a little bit until it's pretty much even. And right there, it's pretty close. I'm happy with that. Eh, let's go a little bit further. I'm happy with that right there. Okay. So now, create that Allen wrench, fits it. Perfect. What we're going to do is we're going to place this on here. Now, see, that's not quite right. That should just slip right on. Let's see why. Okay. So apparently it's a one way deal. One way it will not fit on, the other way it will. So what we're going to do is we're going to force it on as far as it'll go. It's bottoming out right there. Now what I want to see is I want to see if on this other side, if it bottoms out the same way or if it slips through. If it slips through, I might run my drill through it. It's probably a burr. Okay, so one thing I got to tell you right now, that nut or that bolt for the that motor is blocking that rod. It keeps me from getting that in. So I have to slip the rod that way and now I'll slip it back. And see there it's not wanting to fit on. So let's try turning it and see if it does the same thing. It's not going on. Okay, so that answered that question. Make sure that the this is ran back enough. And just turn your, your drill through it. Just wall it out a little bit. And let's see if that gives us any more clearance. Mm, that's still not feeling right. That is weird. Okay, so let's see what the next size up is. 2164. Eh, I don't know if I want to do that. Let's just take that little file that they sent. Let's see if we can fill a burr or something in there. really feel one but let's pull that back out and see pull this wire over here to the side okay nope okay it leaves me no choice whatsoever I'm gonna take my pliers open them up to the larger setting stick it in there Forgive me if I'm doing this wrong, but let's try just yeah, let tighten up this clutch a little bit. Let's give it a higher speed. I don't want to drill it out to the next size up if I can get out of it. Okay, let's see what that does. So give me any clearance at all. Don't want to have to drill it out to that larger size if I don't have to. And it's not giving me a choice. It just will not slip on that rod. It should not be like that. Should not be like that at all. So. I'm going to go up to the 2164 bit. If you're from another country, I ask your forgiveness, but I 
we'll try to come up with what size that is a metric. Otherwise, you can probably Google it. Hey, I'm going to put my drill in reverse. Instead of drilling in the correct way, I'm drilling in reverse. That way it takes out less material. And actually that cleaned up faster than I thought it would. I did not expect that. I thought it would take longer to, it was a larger size. Still having a problem with it. I shouldn't be. Oh, there it goes. It's slipping in now. <clears throat> so you know what that means. I'm going to end up pulling this other one off and just give it a quick little go through just to make sure. I did not want to have to use pliers. But in this situation, I just don't have a choice. Okay, so that one's tighter than the other one was. I got shavings all over my desk. I didn't want there, <laughs> but it fits. Okay. So what I'm going to do, so I'm going to go ahead and tighten this one over on this side. It's got a tighter fit than the other one does. I'm going to go ahead and tighten it up on the shaft. And then I want to make sure that it is against this plate, which it is. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and lock it in on this side. See, that one fits on there, so that's going to be fine. But that one fits on there. Oh. Okay. So, apparently it was just one set was just a bad, a bad set. Because the rods are identical as far as the thickness. Okay, so that one's in. Now this one on this side, because of that set screw, is going to be a bear to get in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, because once again I'm fighting with that that bolt for the, the motor. I'm going to go ahead and set that back. And now I'm going to squeeze the rod in. There we go. I like that. Okay, so I, right now I have this one where the the Allen uh, the the set screw is facing downward. Okay, that's going to be the easiest way for me to to get that one set up. I don't think it really matters what position you have it in. As far as the shaft moving. You don't want the shaft spinning around anyway. At least I don't think so. So even though it's tight in this, these brackets, that's just fine. The main thing, as long as this piece goes back and forth right, that's the important part. OK, 
Okay, so now we want to make sure that this bottom shaft is seated against this mount over here. I'm seeing a little bit of room. I'm just going to give it a little tap. There. And this one, I'm just going to go ahead and bring it out the front. It's not that noticeable, but it makes it easier for me to just do it from this angle. Make sure the camera's still recording. It's getting about time for it to act up again. Okay. We have that all locked in place. We have our end stop here. That piece goes up against that end stop. Uh, now we're to the point where we're going to run the belt. So, once again, let me get rid of my garbage here. I get some stuff out of the way. I got metal shavings everywhere. Got an extra nut that told me to take out that I didn't.